NASA's Mars rover Curiosity making an amazing discovery, the remnants of a freshwater lake that could have supported life three and a half billion years ago, around the same time that life first emerged here on planet Earth. Mike Wall, senior writer, Space.com. How you doing, Mike, in San Francisco? Uh, you were at the conference Hi, yesterday. What do you think of this announcement, Mike? Well, yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty exciting. I mean, it's not the first evidence Curiosity has actually found of of like a potentially habitable environment on Mars. I mean, a place that that that, that could have supported life, but it's it sort of broadens what we know about that environment. And this is a it's a pretty big lake. It was about 30 miles long by three miles wide and shallow. But they're, yeah, they're saying that, that this could have lasted for hundreds of millions of years, this environment, this and, freshwater and like, calm they, lake. They, they compared it to like the Finger Lakes in upstate New York, kind of that same shape right. and, and same feel. Mm -hmm. But, but if, if it was three and a half billion years ago, you know, what, what is the parallel with what was happening on planet Earth then? And why is that important? Well, it's, it's pretty interesting. Yeah, that's about the time that, that the first life forms started emerging here on Earth. Or that's, that's, that's what scientists think. We have the first evidence of the first microbes on Earth about 3.8 billion years ago. So that rough time period is when Earth's life first started getting a foothold. So it may just be a coincidence. I mean, and, and it's also, I mean, we, we have to stress, they've, they haven't found evidence of any life forms on Mars. It's just this is a place that could potentially have supported life there. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. it's, just, it's just sort of an interesting parallel that that about the same time life was getting started here on Earth, there were places on Mars where it could have happened too. Yeah. Uh, so the rover keeps going. I mean, Curiosity has been an extraordinary thing for NASA. Expensive, but extraordinary what it's discovered. <laughs> How would you yeah. rate the news of this week with what Curiosity has done so far, Mike? I would say it's it's yeah, it's pretty exciting. Curiosity announced last March, or or the the, the science team announced this past March that they had found a place on Mars that could have supported life. So this is sort of, this isn't saying, oh, this is the first time we've found evidence that Mars could have supported life, but it's, it's sort of laying the foundation for what that environment could have looked like. And what's really exciting, I think, is that this environment they're saying could have lasted for, for 100 million years or more. That's a really long time, right? I yeah, mean, that's, sure that's conceivably enough time for life to get going and thrive and replicate and, and evolve. I mean, we don't know, obviously. We, we're gonna have to send some more missions to Mars to see if that actually did happen. And tailgate. <laughs> That's kind of a theme we're going with today. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Kidding on that. From sure. space.com, Mike Wall in San Francisco.